test test Should be good. What is up, you guys? It's your boy Rob, Hollow Avarice, back again to play some more Genshin Impact. Uh, last time on, we did a whole bunch of. Um, we finished Act Two of Fontaine. Uh, uh, did I not play yesterday? Might have not played yesterday. Whatever. It's all good. <coughs> I wanted to do some exploring of Fontaine, though, so we finished the Archon Quests Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. Um, I did talk to this lady and try and activate the uh, reputation system, but I still need to do some of the world quests. And do a little more exploration before I can unlock it, it seems. I will not unlock Reputation until 2. Uh, including, and it looks cool. It looks like there's some new gadgets, like a Crystal Fly Trap. I don't know what that does. Or the... Wind Powered Wind Generator. Which is for wind gliders, uh, a couple new recipes, a couple new cards. This is where I get Hydroculus and Hydro Treasure Compass and the new wings. So, we will see. We're going to try and get all that. Alright, so I can get some new, uh, fluey lotuses, some new plants for that. Rainbow Rose. These are both new. And so are these. Cool. And those are new. I did complete the uh, achievement for like farming 800 of these, so that's good. I'm still working on those two. So hey, I will use them to harvest some more Fontaine crops. That'll help. This realm is. No, no one leveled up. All right. Still trying to build friendship on all those people. Should be able to create some furnishings. for my weeklies. Let's 
actually, you know, is there any, there's a lot of new stuff I haven't done. Is there any new Fontanian stuff I haven't made yet? So the Sumeru stuff. Perfect. Done with all that. Uh, Praxis. Hey, Art Gallery, how you doing? Alright, let's go back and explore some Fontaine. So I know we got a lot to explore. We have a new area down here we need to explore where the Melusine live. A world quest there. There should be one more world quest up here. So let's grab the world quest and we can start out with these. This is where I did my last world quest, and they look different. No, uh, not right now. This is the most serendipitous meeting, wouldn't you agree, my dear Luca? I do not know why I'm doing a southern gentleman's drawl. Apologies, look at me. There we are. Beginning a conversation without even introducing myself. I am Sonny, the one sometimes called the White Glove. My friend here is Luca the Fisherman. He's pretty famous in certain circles. Hello, Paimon is... It is most alright. I know that you are Paimon and the Blonde Trevor is Lumine. Oh, and thank you for the follow. Really appreciate that. How are you doing today? Uh, but of course, it is just before my knowledge of you was much like my knowledge of the Chief Justice. In other words, I knew of you, but you did not know of me. With your fame, accomplishments only natural, uh, that news of your arrival would reach us as soon as you stepped foot in Fontaine. I'm doing pretty good. Had a good day. Got a lot done. For once. Which is a rarity. Sure, what is up? Alright. Uh, you're too humble. How should I put it? There's certain people. Your arrival in Fontaine would be as if someone set off a bomb in the center of the stage of Opera Epicles. Of course, I mean that is the most positive way. Don't you agree, my dear Luca? How can a bomb going off ever be a good thing? Uh, not right now. I do it for fun, so I'm good. I'm not very good with words. How would you put it, my dear Luca? Linny and Lynette's magic show. Blasting everything wide open to accomplish the impossible. Spine-tingling experience. Precisely. Precisely. See, I would never have thought to put it like that. If you say so. No, that should not be there. Why are you called the White Glove, though? 
How should I explain? Imagine, if you will, you're wearing a white glove. There's something dirty which you get on your hand. The dark mark will be left on the glove. My duty would be to find the dark mark and remove it from view. Excellent, my dear Paimon. That's cool. I'm not interested right now, but thank you. So people like you are the reason the streets of Corte Fontaine are always kept all tidy. I don't want anything. I'm all good. Nothing. Thank you, though. In case it didn't work here, you can... I don't know why that one wasn't working. This is my other one, though. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Why would a cleaner need a knife? So he's a cleaner. They had uh, many kind of fish in Fontaine. Luca here is really experienced at teaching people to spend some quality time with the different kinds of fish. He's a murderer. You got a knack for asking most difficult and fascinating questions. It would be wonderful if you could have a longer conversation where I would be able to answer everything. Paimon, it's okay to stop asking. We're intrigued with the practice of diving. Fontaine waters are full of priceless treasures left by nature and ancestor alike. We heard that you had a good friend recently and even went on a dive with him. So this is a follow-up to the, uh, the, the world quest I did in my first Fontaine stream when I did Act 1. You want to ask about Virgil? Liar and traitor. Just remembering him makes Paimon mad. You recount your experience with Virgil, the Sunny, the White Glove, and Luca, the Fisherman. Thank you for telling us all of this. Paimon hasn't forgotten a single thing about the. I didn't even remember his name, so I definitely forgot something. So thank you, Paimon. We are, of course, exceedingly grateful that you're willing to share this. Da, 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 you were in share your story. However, from my own perspective, I am more relieved that you do not consider Virgil to be a friend. If that hadn't been the case, uh, anyway, I can put it like this: Had you seen him as a friend, things would become awkward for us both. Am I right, my dear Luca? It could make things difficult. I agree. I agree. Thank you so much. They're Virgil's enemies. Your words wound me, my lovely lady. I have many friends, and not a single enemy. Virgil is just one of my many friends. I must have a serious talk with him. Surely you understand what I mean, my dear Lumine. He's the white glove. It's okay not to understand everything. Life can often be extremely boring when you understand everything. We found a stronghold of Virgil and the rest of his friends. Why don't we meet up there? Alright then. You're too kind. Let us meet at our destination. So we're going to do a little bit of exploration today, and we're going to... Oh, oh, oh.
Do a little bit of clear in Fontaine. Oh, you know what? Uh, you. Hydroculus up there. And a warp point down there. Let's uh, do it. my flower. There's nothing wrong with reaping the reward every now and then. The Court of Justice's fragrance. Perfection. We're way behind schedule. Huh. Ooh. <laughs> Next on the agenda. What is that? I immediately have to capture it. Magenta fan tailed pigeon. Agenda? We're way behind schedule. I gotta try, right? Regret is not going immediately for that, uh... Next on the agenda? We're way behind schedule. Get a lot of these really Come cool on. birds. Focus!
healthy body, healthy mind. All right, let's um. What the? You're chased out of the garden by. Howdy, children. What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I? I. Oh, okay. I came for these. We use condescence crystals to make all the new items. We need a lot of them. Villains, you recalcitrant villains. That's right, run, run far away to the other side of the mountain, to the city alleys, make sure I don't see you. Nothing serious. Kiro ran away again. Takes off all the time to say the word inspection and off Hero takes. This time Prince and Princess fled too. Had I not tripped while taking care of the flower field precisely leading my yet unhealed leg injury, dealing with those three rascals would not be easy. You mountaineers, if you like a place to rest your feet, you can sit a while at the house. I shall treat you in a bit once I have brought the three rapscallions back by the scruffs. We're just passing through. <sighs> Adventurers, then why don't you wear those green uniforms? We're experienced that we can wear whatever we want. Alright then, good children, call me Earnshaw. We would be most grateful for your help. Looking for hero, prince, and princess. They're dogs. My daughter named them. If it were not for her right raising hue and cry, would not have raised such delicate creatures. They were pups. One's up there. You can see them right there. Whom she raised hell just to own gone, she'd ball for all she's worth. Even though this isn't is all her fault anyway. Best not to ask further. Don't turn on the flowers. <laughs> steal, steal, steal! We got some suspicious foul. Where are you go? No, hero, that's... Here you go. Back at home, now for the next one. All right, we got Prince. Princess. Stabilize. Um.
technically did not walk in there. Nice. Let us converse with Earnshaw. Who knew they'd be so capricious? At least remember not to turn on the flowers. At the old man's invitation, you enjoy some rag some ragu. Rag out. We could find her. If we meet her on our travels, that is. I reckon she didn't think she's at fault. Why else would she only send letters but not return home? I haven't read a single one of her letters. I haven't opened a single one. We can overlook the folly of animals, but we accept less from a human. We got a recipe. Swap you for ready for a rehearsal. <laughs> Perfection. Let's swap you with uh, ah, we'll be a traveling map Linny. Agenda. Huh? Oh, I didn't grab those. Hold up. Wait. Nope. I'm sorry. Solidify. All the aircraft. You know, I keep confusing Linny with his sister. He has the treasures are a cause for great happiness. Numa, not the Wisa. All of these people are Numa. Does this call an airship? 
Let's head back to the airship for now. Perfect, we're all right. <sighs> I saw a couple of chests down there. Ooh, that's new. Uh, there's a water bubble around it. doing this because this should produce a chest. Access denied. momentarily tempted to pull on the weapon banner. I mean, this is the Tower of Justice, right? Isn't the, uh... There's a chest there. That's good to know. And there's a Hydroculus right there. Make it all disappear. <laughs> Just kidding. This should be, though, behind this glass wall, the uh, Hydro Archon's apartment. They said she lives at the very top floor of the Palais. Shoot. I 
some schedule. I know these rainbow ones are are good for leveling Linea. Beautiful treasures are a cause for great happiness. Okay, that's one. Next on the agenda. Okay, now I know what to do with them at least. stunned him because he was Lisa. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. left these behind was also fulfilling a contract. Huh. We're waiting right, on the schedule. We're, hey, we're getting a lot of primos. How did he already die? One Sealy up there. We're way behind schedule.
Okay, seated in Dracula, uh, Hydroculus. There. Oh, is that one of the sea otters? That's probably where the teleport point is. Under the sea. Oh, oh the thing. What is that? What is that? Is that a baby little oceanid? There, you look most reliable, good knight. Please help us. What happened? The evil minions of the fell dragon Narcissus have surrounded Petit Cho. I don't know what Narcissus. Okay, um, the mythology nerd in me, Narcissus was, is the root origin of the word narcissist, uh, was the man in Greek mythology, um, it was the story of Narcissus and Echo, right? Narcissus, uh, obsessed with his own reflection. Petit Cho. Narcissus. The dragon Narcissus, though? That's, my name is Anne. I'm a member of the... Narcissenkreuz Adventure Team. Well, you're adorable, I can tell you that much, Anne. Anne of the Narcissenkreuz, Act 1. Oh my god, is it a little companion? Oh my god, I'm so happy. The Narcissenkreuz in Kingdom was conquered by the Narcissus. We banded together to rescue Princess Lyris and reclaim the realm. That's the basic answer, anyway. Oh my god! Holy crap, look at this place! Eek, get away from me! Is that the Petit Cho you're referring to? That's right, please help her! I have you now, the evil thing of Narcissus. the despicable Narcissan Kreuz adventure team. I'm saved. So Petit Cho is a finch. Petit Cho is Petit Cho. Regardless, it's all good and well, Petit Cho. Now let me introduce you to these two. I haven't asked your names yet. I am a knight who looks most reliable. She's Lumine and Paimon's Paimon. Thank you, Knight Lumine and Squire Paimon. Squire? Squire Paimon, my shoulders ache. Indeed, we're companions, of course. Although I indeed considered getting a squire in the past. My apologies, Paimon. I am Petit Cho, member of the Narcissenkreuz adventure team. If not for your help, I might have... Narcissus has girded his subordinates with the Aegis of the... F what is going on? Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm getting too much. 
So, Narcissus, Fell Dragon. Aegis of the or Aegis of four Orthants. Our powers are unable to overcome them. The princess will be pleased. Who's the princess? What's this adventure team? What's going on with Narcissus? A long time ago, this was a kingdom of unparalleled gladness. The children and Princess Lyrist lived here happily together. But later, the kingdom fell to the predations of Narcissus, a fell dragon who had designs on Princess and her treasures. She hid herself away in a high tower and entered a deep slumber. That is why we now name this kingdom Anapausus. Narcissus filled Anapausus, like pause, like stop, pause, with bitter waters, which we just defeated with an evil being born, the entity that opposes the Recon Reconquista. Moreover, we must have a princess, a kingdom, and a wicked dragon. Traditions and stories dictate we must also have a knight. Well, I have defeated a dragon. Northern one, yeah. We defeated Ejdaha. Great fortune to meet you. The time has come at last for the Reconquista. The Nar... Zizenkreutz Adventure Team. Of course, let's get rid of all this foul water. I'll do my best. I just want Anne as a companion. As a little floating companion like I have with Sarush. Oh my god, those poor fish! What is going on? What? What is Fontaine? What is this world? This water is some kind of ocean in magic? The defensive power has weakened. I didn't even put it together. It's a baby ocean that's creating them. Because water can take many forms. The defensive power is weakened. This is so tiring. Anne, Lumine, go help my brother Al. Is he another character? He can't be the... And I can't be the other members. Al covered our escape. Narcissus' power is waiting. Let's go help him. Oh my god, there's fish everywhere. schedule. What the? <gasps> Solidify!
I was so worried. My dear Petit Cho, I knew to end. Why is the finch's older brother a duck? Why a duck? Are such definitions important? I have a supple body, an iron will, and webbed feet to tread the water. Petit Cho is Petit Cho. The sphere is the shape closest to perfection and most complicated of all shapes. I am proud of my sister. It's probably not important. Princess Lyris's tower. Is that shape around it an oceanid? It has the, the horns of an oceanid. Isn't that just... A Good golly gosh, the fell dragon Narcissus! But that is the fell dragon, the dragon who invaded the kingdom. Mondstadt's Davalin, Liwe's Ezdaha, Sumeru's Apep. Look, Davalin's a whole different story from Ocean. It's Davalin's super blue, and his wings are huge, and he can fly. Liwei's Ejdaha, the embodiment of primal energies in Liwei's enemy. No. It represents primordial regression and aggregation. Sumeru's a pep, a being whose form cannot be grasped by humanity, who could summon all manner of servants. That does sound. It's an ocean, it, it, it's angry. It has blue wings and summons minions. Categories are just a social construct. There's no objective meaning. Our purpose defines our essence. A rose by any other name would smell just as sweet. So that's the Tower of Princess. The one lurking atop the tower is the fell dragon Narcissus. He is not here now, which is why we were able to win. That up there is the dragon's hatred made manifest. My talents hurt just looking at him. That's our Lumine for you. The Royal Blade of Narcissus. Defeating these, I am the three Royal Blades. Proceed along the Twin River Fairway if you dare. What is going on? 
What is this world? Next on the agenda. Whoever left these behind was also fulfilling a contract. I don't... Born of ice and frost. Pew! Evil Fang, one of the three blades. The leader of the three blades is waiting for my arrival. Ooh, there's a view a, a viewpoint from over there. All right. Let's finish this adventure first. behind was also fulfilling a contract. <gasps> a lot of Mora. There's nothing wrong with reaping a reward every now and then. And a, a teacup? Cool. Access denied. Where am I? All the way back here? Fine. Next on the agenda.
Dang it. We're way behind schedule. Three royal blades. It seems that Colonel Kate is still here. Let's go meet up with him. Okay. They are. I do not wish to know soldiers' names amidst cruel battle. Anyone can be turned into rupture bubbles. And scattered foam at any time, knowing the names of troops will only cast a shadow upon our final victory. I just need to know one thing. Are there the reinforcements you sought? Yes, but very good. Fresh hands will continue our suppression of the two remaining bubble formations. Next time, soldier, you are to report first before asking questions. There are three subordinates. I've actually cleared them all. Why didn't you say so earlier? I've been trying to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. Hmm. <laughs> well, good to see everyone is so well. I am Lumine, and this is Paimon. Kate's resistance front. We are now the same thing. Same objection, plan of action. We charge bravely into the bubble formation. We charge bravely into the bubble formation, and the rest, please don't ask. He's up against. Okay. I plan on going behind enemy lines to see what can be done. I shall return when the sun sinks to the sea. Victory in hand, let us meet again at the high tower. There's neither sun nor sea here. What is this world? Spin Crystal 103. on the agenda. Alright, I saw a frog over there. Let's go talk to Frog. So, so far we have allied with Squirrel, Finch, and Duck. Thank goodness you are safe. As I thought, we are the ones who emptied out the water. Excellent, excellent. Uh, if I had hands like yours, yellow and white one, I would be applauding already. Please show respect. Petty Cho is doing her best. I suppose you're right. She's done nothing wrong, ultimately. Yellow and white ones, who are they? Does Petit Cho look yellower? Or does Anne? Blue frog. This is Knight, Lumine, and Paimon. A knight, you say? I suppose Paimon is the squire. Why does everyone call Paimon that? Paimon is a bard. You are not a minor feudal warrior. Not in the usual sense, anyway. You are some honorary knight. She's the mount who rogue to the battle of storm terror. A dutiful, capable warrior. Very good. Welcome to Orchestra Jacques. An orchestra? A musical to the name's merely an analogy, for we are weak resistance like an orchestra in our struggle against Narcissus. So she told us you miss Lyris. Princess Lyris? That's right, is isn't Lyris a princess? Both terms are the same person. Leaving that aside, we should the title princess is rigid, hierarchical hierarchical 
term of address, a product of an oppressive system. A merit of birth, not labor or wisdom. Here we go again. In the universe was a more rational one. There would be no gods, no kings, and certainly no prince or princesses. This is an anarchical frog. I love him. He's my new favorite. Nor would there be mystical powers that only a few may wield. Do you follow me thus far? The deplorable state of affairs. He's a social anarchist frog. No, I dig him. We have the same goal. Aren't we uh, all gathered around to rescue Princess or Miss Lyris after all? We come as uh, such, I suppose. I shall cooperate, even though my final goal is to create a more beautiful world for Miss Lyris. Let us shake hands, said Comrade. You have wings, I have webbed feet. You think these app replacement for hands? Then we shall do so, Comrade. Yeah! Jack, please. You're pretty... He wasn't always like this. He once had a good heart. He loved to cry. He would take care of young children. One day he said he would never cry again. Later he changed. But due to Rene, I feel Rene changed too. You should ask Jack and the others. I went out. Is there anything I need to do? Allow me to speak first, then, on a night in Pylon. Considering the tale before us, Narcissus has been unable to overcome it, as such the princess is safe. At the time, when all seemed lost, the princess gave her great treasure to us, and that was the time that belonged to her. She gave you her... time? The prince of the tower dwells in both a stagnant, dreamless slumber. We have fallen the realm of Anapausus. Narcissus has been able to taint anything within. Narcissus would constantly plot to invade, but with the time she gave us, we became far stronger. For example, my brother Al can usually defeat one foe at once, but with time, he can vanquish four or five in one go. I hope you understand now. Yes, yes. There's too much already. Just, just go along with it. Paimon totally gets it, too. This has been long years searching for the princess's treasure. Only its power can cause time in the tower to flow again. But she summoned waters, bringing the wicked intent to drown the kingdom and create underlings unnumbered. We had another brother. I hate the dragon. But I miss Ney. Would it be the boar or the crane? Right? Those are the last two. It's right over there. The sky is in the water in the sky. Before Ney dissolved, he used the last of his strength to purify a patch of water in the firmament. That is where he hid the treasure. He looked down and the sitters in the below would not have had her looking up. That's where the treasure has been hidden all along. Are you feeling better, Anne? Thank you, Paimon, but you need not worry. We must deal with the bubble formations. Already taken them out. It was a grinding battle, but ultimately we emerged triumphant.
Next on the agenda. I know right there. I just want to grab this before I forget about it. The Narzizan Kreutz Kingdom. It's a really beautiful location, I will say. I love the look of it. Oh, there you go, a boar. And an oceanid person? Hello. Hmm. Mori, no. Woof, woof, bad people. There you go. Silly dog. That's... Woof, woof, understood. Give paw. He's a dog made of water. I don't know. Something about this dog seems off. How does Mori resemble a dog at all? Purpose defines essence. If an ocean it can be a dragon, a forest boar can be a dog. Alright, alright. I am a silly dog, yes. Woof. Mori is a dog. A duck, a frog, a finch, and a squirrel can join, so why can't a dog? Mori is Mori. Mori must protect Princess. Long time ago, Mori played here with the Princess, Al, Petitio, Ney, and Jack. With the air and water and later filled with the scent of evil and everyone left. Only the Princess remained. So that's Princess Lyric. Lyris. Not the Princess. Two princesses? Not the princess. Not the princess? The duck? This is Anapausis. The boar is a dog, an ocean it is a dragon, an evil dragon turned out to be a statue, and a duck and a finch and sibling, and the squirrel is a colonel. And the frog is an anarcho socialist. I'm going with Lumine and Paimon to reclaim the princess's treasure. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Beautiful treasures are a cause for great happiness. We're flying. The kingdom sure looks deserted from up here. Of course, it's been ruled by, by Narcissus for many years, and he's just the worst. His underlings steal snacks from children, burst balloons, and scream and shout at them. You mean bad people aren't all like that, right? We kept going up until we crashed in the water. How much doesn't even know where to start? There are threads flowing towards it. We just need to guide the projectiles through the bubble rings. Use a bubble formation. <laughs> oh god, that's so cool! My god, look at this! That's, there's, there's nothing be below is below us. Oh, that's so friggin' cool.
Ah, down there. Bonk, bonk, bonk. The bubbler, bubbler seahorse. Got the princess's treasure. The most precious treasure. It looks like a pocket watch. It's been in the water. It should have broken. It's full of her time. Let's go back to the tower and meet up with our friends. Reaping a reward every now and then. <sighs> Colonel Kate and Mori linked up with us. We're back with the princess's treasure. Well done, soldier. You've made a fine contribution. The resistance fund is proud of you. Kate, now is not the time. Not so fast, Colonel. Lumine is correct as the orchestra. Not cannon fodder for some no-name army. Oh, my God. You sound like the female protagonist in a novel. Stop fighting over me. Oh my god. Are you team Jack or are you team Kate? Maury bowls Jack over. Kate laughs at him and is also knocked over by Maury. Maury is really reliable. You're both right. Uh, but... I approve of Paimon's suggestion. The adventure team's leader should step up. I'm not good at speeches, and can you really call me the leader? As surely as I'm the Conferno, you're the best officer for this adventure team. My view on the title of Colonel aside, we are in accord. I don't know much about leaders or glory or whatever, but if not for you and for the mean of Paimon who you brought here, I don't know what we would have done. Knight Paimon. Knight Lumina Paimon. That's what everyone wants. Since this prince there's a treasure, we need to enter the tower and rescue her. We just need to encourage everyone. Do you have any interest in being leader? How about you? We're just here to support you. We support you. Ahem. 
No matter what the name of our organization, we're all part of the Narziss and Kreutz adventure team. We have a common goal, to rescue Princess Lyris, or Miss Lyris. We intend to save the Narziss and Kreutz kingdom, Republic. <sighs> We experienced many battles and partings during the long years of conflict, and many team members we once had are no longer with us. But I won't forget the times we spent together. We'll always be friends. That's right. Even if I'm our leader and everyone's friend first and foremost, the same goes for you, Colonel Kate. Jack, don't forget your friendship over differences in ideals and perspective. Okay, I'm done now. Bravo! Time to unleash the treasure's power. Like this? Now. Unfortunately, if you're none of us, the nurses and Kreutz are your team, know what will happen next. You know what? There was also an, uh, an, a hawk, right? I'm trying to remember the battle against the Oceanid. There was a hawk fight. And a crane. But one of those must have been Nay. The four divine kings. Divine Kings. Why do Narcissus' little minions all need so many titles? The more useless the person, the more hats they need. God, Jack, you're the best. Close shave, I'd say. It's an elevator. You can fly, Paimon. We were born from the same source. I don't see why you would be unable to understand and accept this. We were from the same water. As long as we forsake our forms and join together, we can produce great magic. If you do that, we know, right? We came from the same body, so giving up our forms is not the same as what you would call death. Pure waters can turn into creatures of all sorts. It's not our decision to make. This is your story. Make sure you save the princess. Mori, Kate, Jack, Al, Peticho. Water is formless. What comes from water will surely return to it. Once we return, Princess Lyra shall be able to bring them forth again. Be water, my friends. It's a portal. Let's see what's on the other side. Maybe a little warning next time? There's so many books here. Is it a library? The content seems to be ancient dramas. Children love to read books. 
There's much they don't understand, so they often ask adults to read them stories. In the books, where there's an evil dragon, there must be heroes to hunt the dragon. If there's a mage, there must be a wandering knight. Reconquista must come to pass, that the princess is to be saved. A chime will sound, and the tale of adventure will come to a halt. Yet it will not end. There will be another adventure, and another one, and another after that, until the children grow up and leave this place. I felt memories suddenly flooding into my mind. How strange. Let's have a look around. Yeah, this tile sticks out like a sore thumb. Sore thumb. Anne of the Nurses in Croix Act 2. Kingdom Through the Looking Glass. Fell Shield of Narcissus. The center of the world, the castle where the dragon lurks, the tower that imprisons princes, sometimes in the lost city of Yith. What? Sometimes Arcadia and even Golden Hyperborea. All stories. I don't recognize the name Yith. I recognize Arcadia and Hyperborea, though. The memories are beautiful and terrifying. The Holy Blade of Narcissenkreutz. Behold, Paimon, the Holy Blade. It's like that time with the Sword of Brilliant Valor. That's the kids will feel like an invincible hero. Doesn't look like we can reach it right now. I hope it becomes a usable weapon. I 100% hope this, this wooden sword becomes a usable weapon. Huh. 
There's nothing wrong with reaping a reward every now and then. Meant to prevent invaders from kidnapping the princess. I don't understand. I should. I know I've never been here before. I find myself recalling feelings. Hmm. Do you know what this place is in? It's the assembly hall of the Assistant Croix Institute. The children would study here normally. I remember now. It was a lovely place. There was no sunlight, but they always lived here. The children were for, were of different dimensions. Some of them different as the two of you. But here, they would suddenly study together, listen to the tales of the Hydro Archon, and to tales older still. Some children were small, some were larger. What is this kingdom? Is this a kingdom of the old Hydro Archon? We know that Fontaine is built on the bones of an ancient kingdom. You hear the sound of a bell. It's just like an old school. The adventure's coming to a close and Lyris is ahead. <laughs> A green feather accessory. So these are they, hold on. Sometimes this feather has the power to advance a story forward and bring it to an end. Its appearance itself represents the power that transcends the story. Old yet well preserved, it has been cherished by many people. Sissy, there's so many books here. Is this a library? Oh no, we're stuck in a samsara! As long as we we'll find the end of the road. Have you noticed anything, Paimon? They form a ring, a story circle. Dan Harmon's story circle. So Paimon thinks we need to get that sword. This tile sticks out like a sore thumb. There's two here where there was only one before. Use the green feather. 
Jabberwock's Holy Sword? The Vorpal Sword? The Vorpal Blade went snicker snack. You know, beware the Jub Jub Bird, my son, and Frubius Bandersnatch. wrong with reaping a reward every now and then. That's two bubble guns. Next on the agenda. And there was only one before. I mean, it looks like a cross between a church and a lecture hall. The future of a story will constantly repeats will never come, but we must keep moving forward. <sighs> now there's three of each. I'm guessing we need four. Three crabs, and there's going to be three seahorses. This is order. Three.
way behind schedule. Next on the agenda... There was another door. Next on the agenda... We're way behind schedule. the holy I already got the holy blade what next on the agenda this is number one Limited power comes not from this blade. When the young heroes of the Narzis and Kreutz adventure team would pick up the sword, they were able to defeat all the foes in their tail. Oh my god, it was a, a bunch of children, and those are the children that, I guess, inspired all these animals? God, they're literally the same layers again and again. That one's three. It leads downwards rather than forward. A real adventure is not only filled with challenges, but with unknowns. The most important thing is to come back from completing these challenges and unknown in one piece and gain something at the end. Astra Abyssosk. Lumi will practice no matter what, right, Traveler? Of course I will. Once I go on, I couldn't get out. <sighs> Dragon. They named it Narcissus. Gather. Born of ice and frost. <laughs> Are we actually fighting an ocean? It. It's not summoning. It's fighting. <laughs> Mori, no. Again, Kate again. Next on the agenda, stabilize. The 
defeated by a child. According to what we said before, the tower lost its time, thus stagnated, as if no one could open. But this space is not within the tower. We teleported to a different place from the tower. No, that can't be true. The princess should be in the tower. The adventurer's hope is in this dark world. If she isn't, our adventurers, they're meeting Al, Petit Cho, and the others. We did take the biggest threat, didn't we? Anyway, the story's not over. There's a place we have not been to before. as long as it takes us to go through it all. Age <laughs> Diary. Read the age records. Decided to incorporate the Institute for Raising Orphans and the Children of Criminals into the public welfare system. According, uh, Considering the ruins of the previous civilization upon which it is situated, it shall be named. The seat of the director was established in honor of the Hydro Archon's great virtue and has been taken up taken on by a gentle nature natured oceanid the title of vice director has been taken up by the one who displays exceptional moral quality and ability An orphanage that makes me again think arlecchino immediately linking up with ingold we've heard the name ingold before jacob ingold who researched the primordial water guillotine who we know was a researcher who helped design the gardamex and the rest of the old gang will go uh, some ways towards solving the dispersion problem. The situation is no place for personal feelings, but what uh, person can lack them completely? I can only hope they aren't treating my dear old Sponzian too poorly or let it rust in the harbor. I hope my skills haven't rusted away either. I hope all goes well. I still want to watch the dough rise and the sounds of play outside the window. I want to watch them grow into fine adults. Sponsy, and that's a new name. Storybook. <laughs> the duty will be taken up by Basil Elton, formal naval, former naval commander. May her steely temper be itself tempered by the family she will establish with these children going forward. What's that idiot thinking? Well, whatever. Might as well have some fun post-retirement. According to the ancient theater and mysterious research hidden here, we believe the documents of folklore discovered within Petrichor. The research team from the Natural Institute Philosophy holds that Petrichor... Isn't Petrichor, um, the smell of, like, wet soil after the rain, that, that smell that it gets, right? <sighs> Might be thinking of something else. One serving of flour, one sugar, one melted butter, two eggs, a large amount of milk. Are you kidding? What exactly is a large amount? 15 minutes at 100 degrees is not the same as 5 at 540. Doesn't seem like there's anything relevant. There we go. It's the story book. Yep. There's a book here, too. It's a picture book. Picture books just speak to me better. That book gives me a strange feeling. A long time ago, in a place far, far away, there was a beautiful and kind princess named Lyris. Yep, she's our main character. I don't want this name. That's not what you said before. Do you want to read it to Anne? In that case, Paimon's going to continue. Come on, it's just a story. No need to be so fussy. Anyway, the protagonist needs an antagonist, an evil one at that. And our antagonist, well, that's the dragon Narcissus. So evil is he that the peace-loving people tremble at the sound of his name. Not that he cares about their feelings. He sowed destruction across the land with searing flame. He spewed from his mouth his great wings turned cities to dust. 
and his burning breath reduced nations to ash, pointing out that that picture in the picture book looks a lot like in the 4.0 live stream. Um, MiHoYo CEO, the third set they were in, the first set was underwater, the second set was the hotel. The third set was a mansion in a field of sunflowers, and it kind of resembles that picture. Throwing that out there. Any, at last, only the princess's realm remained safe. But because the princess worked tirelessly to defend her realm, Narcissus's plot to destroy everything could not succeed. So in Narcissus' story, I'm the evil villain? That's kind of weird. This started like a storybook, but it feels like it isn't. You got a bigger brain. You have a look, too. Teleport port waypoint unlocked. It is! That is the exact setting! What? What is this place? We're literally in a storybook! This is the real Anapausis. Anne of Narcissenkreutz, Act 3. Huh? The world should be like this, not like it, it is outside. Children should be able to play under the sun and in the grass without fear of hindrance or harm. This place does feel comfy, yeah. Paimon feels way better than you did back when we were adventuring through the kingdom. There was no sunlight at all. One mystery follows another. This has to be Prince Lyris's garden. Sure. Hide and seek. Where did Mary and her friends go? Sounds like someone's singing over there. If she no longer dreams of you, Mary Ann's story. Mary Ann? What is this friggin' place? I mean, she has the blue of a water idolon that we saw in the summer event. Her body's entirely blue, so she's made of water. Hide and seek, hide and seek. Where did Mary and her friends go? To the great sea without borders, the place from which all lives flow. Hey there. Oh, hi. I'm sorry, I was preparing some tea and I didn't notice you. Come sit. Snacks will be ready soon. Ooh, snacks! Yes, and ours are very good. I must say this first. We can only start once the bell rings. It would be rude to do otherwise. Where are you from? What a fascinating combination. A lovely, a lovely young lady, a small little Oceanid, and your beautiful floating friend. Paimon's Paimon, and she's the traveler. So Paimon does Anne look unhappy. She must be her, have been reminded of something. This ocean, it is our friend Anne. A fine name indeed. Call me Mary Anne. It's been a long time since I met someone from outside. Where are you from? See, so Paimon's not sure. We defeated the fell dragon Narcissus and ended up here. The fell dragon Narcissus? You say that must have been a frightening foe. In a manner of speaking, I suppose. I've heard that Narcissus has hurt many, and turned many kingdoms to ash. Defeating him was an impressive feat indeed. We're from the Narcissenkreutz kingdom, and we're looking for Princess Lyris. Do you know where you might find her? I'm afraid I do not know, but she should be here. Is that the case? I've lived here a long, long time. I've never seen any princess. Perhaps she could be somewhere else? I'm unfamiliar. On the flip side, you do look like a princess from a distant land. Mm -hmm. Is that the bell? That's the signal for tea time. In the past, the children would throw down their wooden swords the moment they heard the bell, would come into the hall and have their snacks. They're not here now. I think it's best to follow all the rules. 
Hooray, snacks! You and Paimon enjoy the snacks. They look beautiful, but they're tasteless, like pure water. That's so weird. They were great. Paimon, you couldn't taste them. Are you on a low sugar diet? I made them as I remember them. I'm not sure if they taste good at all. At least Paimon's full now. This is a flower garden that we've painstakingly taken care of. Lovely, isn't it? I heard Basil say that caring for children is like caring for a flower. Basil Elton, the naval commander? Okay. Uh, you need good soil, sufficient sunlight, frequent watering, and can't let them grow however they want. Sounds like Basil's pretty smart. We must get rid of pests from time to time as well. Basil sounds dangerous, too. She's capable of making snacks, caring for flowers. She can do it all. I've been caring for the flowers here all this time, in the hopes that some friends might come. We just need to water them. They'll be fine. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. We've been married and friends go to the Hall of sea fo Seaborn Foam to watch where sunflowers bloom. Ooh. The sunflowers spring from the earth, grow quickly, and bloom. Aren't they beautiful? That was quick. I've been waiting for friends to arrive, after all. And with your arrival, are we in a storybook? Are we in a dream? What, what is going on? Nature is amazing. This is, goes beyond amazing. They're very beautiful, like gleaming gold. I'm from a very, very far away place, aren't you, Lamine? What sort of flowers bloom there? The ones that blew it that I wear in my hair. I thought those flowers were beautiful the moment I saw you, but I fear they'll be hard to find now. Let us speak of other flowers. I've always been in Fontaine, and I've never gone elsewhere. That said, a friend of mine has been to Sumero. I heard that there are many flowers that can't be found here. They grow on cliffs. Those are the, uh, the Nilupata are the ones that only open at night. Some grow on the cacti or the henna berry. Um, I'm blanking on the ones. Mala? Yeah. No cacti in Fontaine. Paimon, have you seen any flowers? Monsets dandelions come to mind. We might. Dandelions, dandelions, bloom, bloom, bloom. Tiny white flowers, and these tiny white flowers have seeds on them. The wind blows them, and the flowers scatter all along the wind. A story about water. In a certain place, there's a peaceful body of water. In disturbance, there came ripples, and droplets appeared in the ripples. Droplets that had life in them. And life left the water and turned into different forms. That's the primordial sea. But though they all were made of water, gulfs opened between them due to the differences. Each drop of life was very weak, but each was beautiful in its own way. They remind me of that story. A flower that was once united, as one would be separated, would bloom and each piece would become itself. A single drop of water is weak and will dry up easily. Together they will be strong, but they will no longer be themselves. I think I understand where you're coming from. You're talking, it sounds like it happened to Al, Petit Cho, and the others. They helped us, they melded into one. I remember. It might be meaningless to say this now. Let's have a little walk. You can see our dog. You got a dog, Marianne? He's a silly dog. He's always accompanied me. It's why he's my best friend. Mori? Okay, hold on. Ready? Ready? Mary Ann is Anne. Mm -hmm. 
Jacob Ingold. Jack. Sorry, Paimon. Maury was the dog. Colonel Kate. Kate. Basil Elton, maybe, was Kate. Oh, you think this is real funny, don't you? Sorry, Paimon. I'm busy. Al. Guillotine. I don't know. Sponsian. How come when it's feeding time, please do the honor? Noble Miss, it's an honor to receive your food. Good doggy. This can't be more. He's always kept me company. Does this mean we've been wrong all along about what dogs look like? I played Elden Ring. I know dogs are big animals with a hard shell on their back. I know what a dog is. Water can take any shape, and life can choose what form it must take. Nothing to do with the distance. <coughs> the body is a prison that restricts evolution. <coughs> How much do you remember, Anne? There's a flood of feelings and seeing happy words and angry ones. I'm not sure. Be a good dog. See you, Miss Marianne. See you, dear guests. There's no princess here. Only us today. All we've experienced so far was just a story. Think about it for a moment, Paimon. Is there even Narcissus and Kreutz Kingdom among the Seven Nations? So the adventure team, Al, Petit Cho, Colonel Kate, Jack, Mori, the two of us and our adventures, were just characters in a story? You know, there was no Holy Blade mentioned at the start. Now, a sealed tower has still has monsters and bubble formations. There are parts of a story that have, that have not yet been written. The Holy Blade and Narcissus those were still inside the story. It's just that they had not yet been arranged correctly. I believe the structure exists already. It's just the setting for the story. So that means the thing I recalled along the way, just a character, to start. you're not merely a character. The fact that you can think about this means that you can remember it. Who is Anne? I am Anne. I must rescue Princess Lyris. Paimon, Lumine, my dearest Anne, our time is up. I enjoyed our time together, but I'm afraid it's time for you to leave. Why did you have to say it was fiction, if you already knew? Spare a thought for Anne's feelings, at least. There's nothing need to say anymore, Anne. I once heard m my best friend tell a story about a princess trapped in a high tower. Before you arrived, I had a dream. I dreamed I was a small, brave ocean, and we set out to save the princess. And perhaps there are princesses in this world, and dragons too. But I also know that world's affairs are rarely this simple. Why would a dragon be concerned about a princess? After waking up, I would find this dream laughable, yet nostalgic. Every time I thought about it... Do you remember now, Anne? If I could save Lyris, what a- my birth, my only wish, do they have no meaning? Don't say that. Your birth was a beautiful accident. <laughs> Things I can only wish for live on for your sake. Go see the world and see what has changed. If you wish to have your own soul, memories, personality, wishes, I wish for you to be the master of your own fate and experience all the beauty of the real world. Can you do that for me? It was a pleasure to meet you, Lumine Paimon, and my pleasure to meet you too, Anne. But Anapazis is our tomb. I do not wish for you to linger here. I sense you are good-hearted and powerful. Thank you. I am just someone who sometimes enjoys dreaming of lovely adventures and wonderful futures. 
In the real world, everything has already ended. So this is farewell. God damn. What is this game? What is Fontaine? Go with the flow is the... Mary Ann's... It's not Ann's story anymore. It's Mary Ann's story now. Whee! This is the chamber where we fought the dragon, Narcissus. Back through the tower. I'm sorry, Night Lumine, Paimon. I already started to feel some things that were off earlier. As you led me off the story's track, I started to understand and recall things. But I still want to rescue Princess Lyris. That is the reason for which I was born. I want to save her and bring the story to an end. Even if I don't know who she is, I know she's a gentle, lovely princess trapped due to Narcissus' invasion. At least we had fun, right? I only thought we could help Anne. Hmm? Paimon didn't understand anything Mary said there. Mary Ann said, did you? I did, sort of. I could sense she was speaking of something terrible that happened in the past. That's why we gotta find something, find out what happened. Come up with some sort of plan. This story isn't over. Okay. If it's just a story, there's one thing Paimon does get. What role do we play? We are undefined factors. And that's why we can bring the story to an end. But since we have been the power to knock the story off course, that means we opened all sorts of unknown possibilities. Thank you, Night Lumine. Thank you, Paimon. My memory's Narcissenkreutz Ordo. Anne in Wonderland. Quest completed. More treasure! More treasure! in the overworld. But we can still go back down there. <sighs> well, hold on. I gotta see something. Let's go to my key items. There. They're still with me.
I do have one key, so let's knock this one out. Perhaps whoever left these behind was also fulfilling a contract. All right, now I know we have several other dailies that I need to do. on the agenda. I've done this twice. I know I need to talk to the fishing lady again and see if her story is advanced. I've done a little bit more fishing and I'm almost able to buy either the bow or the weapon. Let's see. Yep, there's a third one. Okay. Uh, d -d 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 see, let's see. I can buy this, the maintenance mech techno demo type, which is the mechanical fish display. Wave piercer. Uh, still a little way from Wave Piercer. I need five more blue fish to get the weapon. I don't see any, though. I have marked all the Stay fishing down. spots on it's the map. The final stretch. Wow, Paimon's stomach is rumbling already. Oh, you know, uh, enjoy the music for a second, guys. I'm gonna take a very quick bio break, and then we're gonna try and do a few more of these stories. Where's my phone?
All right. Have you tried any new bait recently? Ow. You're right on time. Soon you shall witness the moment I surpass myself and make history. Del Rose sure is confident today. Seems like her fishing's going well. I was testing my bait. I found a new type of bait unknown. Who's this kind benefactor? She's gone from one extreme to the other. I hooked a truly gargantuan fish, but it took a bite of my odor clean off the hook. I gotta go get her stuff back, okay. The bait smells really strong. We're back! Did you find my active odor imitating bait? He described the incident that happened. Aquatic monster. You play a large monster, a Pyamon plays a smaller one. Toss back a Sinceti to more mangled since Sinceti symbolizes an ordinary person. I didn't think it would attract anything that couldn't be caught or eaten. Your feedback is crucial. any other fish. Oh, the Mega Mecha Melee with uh, Trial by Far Bennett. Act 1, the 24th. Act 2, the 26th. Act 3, the 28th. So it is a three-act event. That ends on the 11th. It offers a new, a, a new item for my teapot, Crown of Insight, Primos, and stuff, plus a... Free Bennett, who I already have, max out. I just need to have 
patience. Oh, come on. No. Stay strong. So many fish. Just no patience. Stay strong. Uh. Yeah, you nearly got him. Whoa, My only nice regret fish. is I don't have the fish greatsword from the event. Because then if I combine that with the catch and the fish bow and this weapon, I would have three aquatic themed. Uh, inventions or uh, equipment that I could do a full fisherman team. Steady now, it's the final stretch. I also do want to get the wow, fishing rod for this region, already. obviously, because I have every fishing rod. And I'm using the Sur the Sumeru one right now because I think it's by far the prettiest. Stay strong. Uh, I love the white and gold aesthetic. You've got it. You got it. This is taking long. This is going to be a glass jar fish. Ooh, that no? was a tough fight. I guess they do. They were the ones that took a while. They're the most basic fish, but they take the longest. need a blue one. I don't need all these red fish. I just need a blue fish. There you go. I mean, I need them all because I'm going to need a bunch of them to get all the upgrade materials for the uh, for the steamy pipe. second we're way behind schedule <sighs> I'm almost done getting all of these Yesterday, I finished collecting all the necessary drops to get every character to level 80 no from the... Okay, we're at 
79 Everflame Seeds out of... This is going to show you how insane they are. How many? Uh, 84 necessary. So I only need five more Everflame Seeds and I'm done fighting the Regis Pyro Registine for the foreseeable future. Uh, I also finished fighting the Pyro Hypostasis. I no longer need to fight him. I got everything I need ever from the Pyro Hypostasis. I gotta do Hydro soon. I only need 17 drops from that. 15 and 15 from the Perpetual Mechanical Array. Those are probably gonna be my next ones when I'm done with Pyro, Redisfine, Cryo, Redisfine, and Ruined Serpent. Ugh. <laughs> Also, have some reputation we can pick up uh, right there. there. If I can finish a few more of these and maybe get to 40%. If I get to 40%, that'll knock me over the top. Otherwise, I have to do five more of these. I need to cook it's 15 a week. I did last week, which was technically only a few days ago, was I mastered Linny and Lynette's unique items. Garlic baguettes. I'll need to make five of these. One. Two. the baguette. Making you do it ten times is a little obnoxious. It's not the longest minigame. It's a very brief minigame, but like...
Do anything there. We can do some stuff here and deliver those. Oh, another world quest. Are those the gourmet? The filming's not done and the camera's lost. Didn't we post a commission? There's only one thing left to do, and that's wait. Seems like some Fontanians aren't that slow going after all. It's fine, I knew the Inventor's Guild wasn't reliable. That sounds fine. those people. I just think this is a cool little place to hang out. It's like a little fort. Alright. I can get three more levels of this. Which means I now have a crown of insight. Do, 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 do. Some philosophies of justice and some acquainted fates. Control, I really need another. Hunting hound. It was a dog that wasn't wearing a costume, so I'm like, maybe. Wing Goose, Violet Gold, Angler Gull. Oh, my God. There's two new. One more of them is a that one's definitely a bird, and this looks like it's something large down there. Chestnut hunting hound. I got the glitter gray hunting hound. Okay, these ones can't be captured. 
That one can, though. Leisurely Otter. Okay, so we'll, we'll look for any unaffiliated dogs. Camera's intact. Thank the Archons. Why aren't you filming here? Or why are you filming? We three are from Li uh, Chia Ying Village and Liwei. Most people there are in the tea business. We don't have an interest in tea, so we change professions. They're documentary films to help promote tea vendors. We have plenty more shooting those tea documentaries. Some other village have started to shoot their own promotional films. Some are even performing opera. We're here to seek advice from master filmmakers. You're really good at using lighting to film narratives. Yeah, you give the lighting a sense of texture. Shh. Okay. Did I want Let's talk to Fontaine's uh Catherine. Add Astra Abasask. This one must be a puppet too. Just taking a look. Add Astra. Ad dispatched any characters. What do I get from dispatching in Fontaine? Mika, go do that. Random character.
There you go. Next on the agenda. It's probably only 20. There was one other area I remember that had a daily. I think I put a, a, a marker there. Where was it? That wasn't it. That was a... a, a da, 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 da. Oh. While I was doing my explorations, I found... found a seal. Nope, it wasn't this one. This one over there. That's it. That's where it is. I found a seal that needs to be fed every single day. name is Berry Puff. Blub blub. Berry Puff seems to recognize us. That's right, we brought you food again. Being picky is bad. Well, Paimon, but Berry Puff looks really tired. There's another blubber beast trapped. Won't eat till we cut its friend free. Should be fine now. Let's go have a look. some food. He was at one of five hearts, so I'm assuming this is a five-day quest. The blah 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 circles you a few times as if in thanks. Ooh, there you go. Is a loving foam of his own kind.
There's so much in this ocean. I also did find this yesterday, and I'm gonna go show it off and explore it in a second, but... Sea Otter! Thank you, buddy! If I block it... this yesterday. It's another giant underwater. I saw the skeletons from above yesterday, but there's a full-on skull just like the giant snake from Inazuma. Some melazines up here. Not a Is that a crab chasing a hello turtle? another art exhibit. I did find a Melazine artist earlier. Everything is 
balanced. Hey, it's Salsa, the little girl I met uh, yesterday, or on my last stream. It's Lumine and Little Miss Paimon. We meet again. Yeah, we part ways. How have you been? Did you get scolded by your parents? I was studying at my desk when Mom and Dad came home. They didn't have any excuse to scold me. I was actually studying. I was really just putting on an act, pretending to be studying. I put on my best performance so Mom and Dad can't see through it. I decided to become an artist, not an actor. I can become an actress who plays an artist. That doesn't sound right. Well, what a complicated family. Asymmetry also has merits. But symmetry looks better here. It would be nice to place Numosa relay piles on both sides of the road. Now the evil traps are all gone. Odd sense of beauty. Salsa teaches the rookie members of the Givender skill the art of item arrangement. I also talked to Catherine, but she's really strange. All she said was, add Astra Avasask. She never told me what the mini... She tells me that, too. I'm on this Catherine listen to you, but I'm so much older than you. You're basically a kid. Saying that the Paimon, I'm a big girl. Not only do I know that, I know a lot of things. I have to go home. The Seaside Village. Reward on the road. There it is.
frozen frost. We're way behind schedule. There we go. Getting my gears. Beautiful treasure. What? What did that do? It's definitely a thing. Hmm. I got no clue. This way, there was also a giant crab down here, a giant unique crab enemy that I don't think I've beaten yet. There you go, that's how you do it. Okay, I got it. Play volleyball. Iron Viscount. You can play volleyball with him, that's so great. Okay. Go! 
So maybe there's another way, another tunnel that leads down here. There's nothing wrong with reaping a reward every now and then. 120 chests, not bad. Ruin Guardian and Ruin Hunters? I always hated Ruin uh, Hunters. One. We're way behind schedule. I'm just way out of practice. We're way behind schedule. On the agenda. Well, there's that one. That looks like a trap, though. Huh. That just looks like a big old trap. one will be in that building. Celestia. It's getting closer and closer to Celestia every time.
and schedule. Is he going to come out on his own? He is. Okay. There's nothing wrong with reaping ah. a reward every now and then. Waiting. Shreds again. I didn't see any alternating switches. It's so beautiful and just calming and... God, control you. What do you want? Take it and have fun. Squall and Fury. Following me. The wind rises. Take it and have fun. Behold!
Okay. Perfect. Perhaps whoever left these behind was also fulfilling a contract. So I haven't found those yet. They might be in the underground area near the um where the little hydro the Melzine live. All for those, I will now be a level three statue. So my big hydro bubble moves slower. And lasts longer. Anyway, yeah, here. Finale of the deep. Let's... Finale of the Deep. And it matches her, like, energy, right? Dross of pure sacred dewdrop. I like how be okay, so the weapon normally doesn't have that energy, but because it's on Lynette, who's a a Wisa character, it has a dark energy. In it, so that's kind of cool. Four more. Yeah. 
think we'll do this and Linny's story quest next time. A walk would be nice. I've already defeated the fading veteran. Sunny is a white cloud. Dear Paima and my lovely lady, this is the stronghold that Virgil has been using us of late. I swear. Why is Virgil still not back yet? If he's just gonna keep us waiting, he might not be able to hold my back from this shipment of synth. Cut it out. This shipment took us an arm and a leg. Virgil of no mercy if you use it without his permission. It seems my dear friend Virgil is here to return to the stronghold. We should have a chat with these disguise. They may change their mind soon enough. Do you not think so, my dear Luca? No problem. How are they going to try and beat you up? Oh, you're too considerate, dear Paimon. Something like that would be most unfortunate for them. That tingle? The graveyard of ships. That tingle? Access denied. Uh, that was the wrong test subject. Such a pain. Born of ice and Suffocate. Go! Romine, the white glove and the fisherman, what are you all doing here? Virgil, reliable partner. Explain it's all a misunderstanding. My, Mr. Sonny, you see, we, we only got into the business because we heard that was more to be made. And since the higher ups didn't agree, we figured we figured we could use an extra money first and then turn over all the profits. That's that's exactly what we were doing. He's totally ignoring Paimon. I have no complaints against uh, the organization, not at all. I was tricked by these crooks. The only reason why I did something so foolish. 
Your every inch is strong as the soils have made you out to be. Do you not agree, my dear Luca? Super strong. Incredibly formidable. Please, if you remember anything about the time we spent together, Mr. Sunny, Mr. Luca. Hmm. Luca, our guests are still here. Let's not do anything discourteous that might bring their mood. Understood. It was my fault. It was all my fault. Please have mercy. Make sure you don't do it again. My dear Virgil, I would never do something like that again. I'm an Alina, I can promise in the honor of Sunny the White Glove, as well as that of my father and son. Profit margin on this. N not as again, Mora. Uh, is this all you care about, Zamora? What about your plot as a citizen of Fontaine? What about your conscience? Did you watch a countryman turn into husk of himself from this doink? Bah! Oh, uh -huh, how shocking even Lucas shows intense emotion in response to your words. You see, my dear Virgil, you've accomplished the impossible. This is Sunny, believe me, it's, it's uh, because of these guys that they lied to me. I would not have done anything if I was silence you worthless dross. Worthless dross. Just a repeat. We're way behind schedule. Hey, bud. I don't think I've seen you before. Damn. Piece of cake. You know what? There you go. Hold on. Yep. <sighs> there we go. <coughs> now I'm done in here. Good luck, Virgil! I think those two are the Melazine Village. Let's check out a few that I'm missing. There it is. Perfection.
Again, more bones of the giant creatures that live down here. See what's all this. Ah, it's one of the conch shells that shows invisible things. Ah. Been down here before? <laughs> oh wait, was this where I was earlier on the stream? It was. Okay, it was this area. So I have been here before. Okay. Uh last one. Seriously, is Linnea, is Linnea friggin' Linnea and Lynette friggin' mermaids? Look at this. This is crazy. I know it's, it's every Fontaine character and Lumine that can do this. But, like... Why is it not every character that can... Like, why can't Kokomi do that? We'll have order.
Called alien Beautiful life cores are a is cause for great happiness. A source of great curiosity in me. Bond of life and recovering HP. Bond of life. Oh, this is the ability that um, Lenny's Blade has. Will absorb healing effects uh, that a character and give it to every character. Ooh. So maybe giving that to the tra Hydro Traveler. I haven't checked out that yet. There's also, there's the teleporter I was looking for. <laughs> oh, cool, a thing. of treasure. Is that our was that our consecrated beasts? Why are there consecrated beasts here? No 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 no. Well, thank you. Exit. Jump. No.
Just as I expected. Thank you. <laughs> this appears to be some kind of fantastical arcane formation left by someone that will summon monsters from another world that will try and break the crystals. Solidify! Order guide you! the agenda enigmatic page number three next on the agenda <gasps> next on the agenda Not bad. That was a cool little what, like tower defense. I've seen fields like this, so that as I, I I'm assuming that they yeah, that, that challenge might be like a reoccurring challenge. I mean they gave us a description for it. I've done the two recurring ones, which are the fishing and the little uh, seal. I've done those other big story quests. I found that little artist girl again. So I'm assuming maybe she's going to be available in different locations every day. Over. 
there's nothing wrong with reaping a reward every now and then. Next on the agenda... Uh, you. So we know there's at least two more types of dogs we need to find. Let's check. The entrance area. Oh no, that was her cat. What about... The glitter gray. Next on the agenda. All right, I don't see any other dogs there. I'll give the city one more look around. Oh, we could also be in the undercity, right? <laughs> We're way behind schedule. The different forms of water spouting and water splitting. No one... Oh, they're technically creatures of the abyss. never fought that one enemy because it was only available for a, a single event and the it was in the abyss for a short time but it hasn't come back here we go okay recon log mech arithmetic enhancer mech underwater survey geological survey underwater patrol nimble harvester area alert assault specialist Suppression Specialist, which has the Dendro Cannon and the Pyro Gatling Gun. That one had the Pyro Stick and the Electro Shield. Annihilation Specialist, Construction Specialist, Icewind Sweet. Blubber Beast, Hunter Ray, Different Hunter Ray, Armored Crab, Different Armored Crab, Stern Shield Crab, Emperor of Fire and Iron, Hat Jellyfish, Different Hat Jellyfish, Bubbly Seahorse, Bubbly Seahorse. It's probably a third Bubbly Seahorse that I haven't seen. Bubbler Seahorse, Ball Octopus, a different Ball Octopus, Angelic, and probably a different Angelic, and Cherubic. Okay. A different bird that I have yet to find. 
And this means I've interacted with this dog, the chestnut hunting hound. And nothing angers me more than the fact that we can't get the, uh, the seal. Again, truly nothing angers me more than the fact that we can't get the seal and capture it. This finale of the deep. Next on the agenda. This is killing me. These are the regular geese that I got. Hup. It's silent and it stopped working. 
As you observe the fountain, someone else arrives. Why hasn't Edel fixed the fountain yet? Kara Tree is gonna make sure everyone in Tibet hears about it. It was really if mom and dad found out I snuck my sister out when we were loitering, they'll kill me. That was actually as expected of a mighty magician. What a vision, what a passionate performance. Hunting dog. Good. One down, uh, two down, one to go. in here need to be changed and the valves matter cleaning oh his magic really is something it rusted a valve in the fountain's bottommost pipe and it completely broke I jest it was actually a deformed valve getting stuck that jammed the entire water system why the nozzle break it's so weird he keeps saying the fountain doesn't get fixed soon he's gonna get chewed out To Estelle in the city. I mean, okay, I didn't think so. It's worth worth checking. I'm looking for a chestnut hound. Not doing too bad with this. Already level nine, baby. I'm gonna check uh, the good old machine that knows literally everything. Genshin Fontaine. I'm sure stand by now. I hope nobody disturbs me. They can be found around Poisson. I see a cat, I see a gull. Nice. 
that's where they were situated. Both uh, Virgil and White Glove. So it might be maybe they'll come back tomorrow. I know I'm going to be starting Baldur's Gate soon. I'm also going to be doing uh, Innocence or what other game was I finally going to start? A Plague Tale Innocence and Trek to Yomi and Alan Wake were all games I'm going to start soon. And Baldur's Gate 3, which is a huge game. Endling, I was also considering. Which were more quick games, and they might help me pace out. For a few days, I'll come back and I'll do the um, Bennett adventure. I'm here for the valve and nozzle. If the fountain isn't fixed soon, we'll drive that kid Remoudier up the wall. Uh, I did make one, but a previous client had urgent repair, so I gave her some general parts. I know, but the client mine was in a hurry. She claims she needs to repair a sewage valve. I'll go get you these iron trunks. I have so many iron trunks. Oh, hey, look, what do you know? I have iron trunks. That'll be enough. Give me a sec. All right, done. Oh, thank God. This found that has been quiet for too long. Time to get it back up and running again. The two take to their tasks with gusto. The valve has been installed, performed a comprehensive examination, no major issues. The only remaining task should be open the sluice gate. Why did they put the sluice gate so far away? The water should come rushing in. The fountain is working, and now even if Kendry mentions it happening, I can pretend I don't know what she's talking about. Magic and miracles all come with a price. Thanks, Edel, Mrs. Estelle. Brother, what are you doing here? What are you, aren't you, weren't you supposed to be able to stroll with mom and dad? I ran away when they weren't looking. I wanted to see what the fountain's doing. Magic has its limits. It only works for a set amount of time. If I stop it, I'll set people who want to watch it. I haven't fully mastered fountain magic. Once he masters it. Oh, that was cute. Magic assistant. I'll pay you a general salary. You mean generous? By the time you become an adult, I'll be in middle age and I'll start to lose my hair. I shan't be your partner then. Looks like once I do one more, no, three more story.
Do I, yeah, I need to do three more. Now the question is, are those all events that are going to be available throughout Over here. the entire duration? Of uh, Fontaine, or are those the 4.0 events for... And then more will become available as I go on. Sanguinetti. flour. Now that I know, I can always use more cream and butter. in there. I think yeah, we just passed the four hour mark. I think that's where we'll call it. I've done a lot of exploring and uh, some really cool world quests. I really hope I get the um, Anne as like a little companion the same way we got Sarush. The wings of their model after crystal flies. Sell wings of oscillation, Chester? Cause I'll buy new wings. <laughs> so so far in Fontaine I got 99, 100, 101, 100, 3, 4, and 5. I'm missing 102. We could still see from an A. <laughs> Talk about prime real estate. You're right above a cafe, you're right by a number of shops. That's a They, they live in a solid spot, above a hat shop, but also above fresh produce, cafe, snacks, and I guess more produce. I like Gan. Yeah. 
Okay. So it doesn't look like we have enough exploration to do. I'm assuming after we explore the Melazine's home and finish the daily quest with the Blubber Beast and fishing, that should be enough, right? Because that would be three quests to start doing... Uh, reputation. That's the word I was, the very simple word I was looking for. We're also decently close to finishing our exploration. 62, 50, 63. Not bad. Uh, so we will be back. Uh, do I want to do it tomorrow or do I want to wait and maybe do the first part of the Bennett event? Or save all the Bennett event to do together. Yeah, I think I'm going to save the Bennett event to do all together. Uh, probably on the 28th. So I will be back tomorrow, though, to do a little more exploration. We're going to do the Melazine Village. And we're going to do uh, Linny's Story Quest. And probably just a little bit more exploration of Fontaine. Because Fontaine is just so friggin' beautiful. And I'm... I'm in love with this world. Yeah, there's just so much to do, so much to see. do off stream is my dailies, my boss grinding, and my um, fishing. So again, I am getting pretty close to getting the new fishing pipe. I don't think I've really listened to the underwater music yet. This is beautiful. It's not quite Jamaican under the sea, but this is pretty good. All right, I think on that note, guys, we're going to call it. So thank you so much for joining me. Again, I'm loving it. We will be back tomorrow to do Linny's story quest and just more exploration. Ooh, I see a timed event over there, or time trial. I'll very slowly swim that way as I talk. Um, yeah, uh, make sure you are following me if you're watching on Twitch or subscribed if you're watching on YouTube. Twitch.tv slash HollowAvarice, YouTube.com slash HollowAvarice. Uh, because I am going to be playing several other games coming up, including Baldur's Gate 3, Trek to Yomi. Plague Tale Innocence, and Alan Wake. So those are other games I'm going to be playing coming up. Alright, anyway though, that's what I'm going to call it. So thank you guys, that is all for this thing that I am doing. You are the best and I will be seeing you. Until next time, peace.